Here are this week's top stories from the Bangkok Post. I'm Gary Boyle. Thailand this week reported its first case of Omicron XE, a combination of two previous versions of the Omicron variant. The World Health Organization warned that XE could be the most transmissible strain of the new coronavirus, although its severity is still being investigated. The public health ministry laid down concerns, saying there is no need to panic, as it is not believed to result in as many complications as some previous mutations. Officials also said a parcel delivery man may be infected with a new XJ variant never before detected in Thailand. Subhanapum Airport has seen a sharp rise in the number of international arrivals since the requirement for pre-flight COVID-19 tests was lifted. The airport reported an average 11,623 travellers from overseas destinations from Friday to Monday, a 66% rise from the average in March of 7,003 visitors a day. The airport attributed the rise to the scrapping of pre-travel RT-PCR tests of visitors coming under test-and-go, sandbox and quarantine schemes from April 1. The government is considering scrapping on-arrival RT-PCR tests for foreign visitors from next month. The manager of Nida Dengmo Pachara Wirapong has admitted to a charge of giving false statements to police in connection with the death of the actress. Itsarin Gratik Juta Suksawat confessed to police that she had given false statements to investigators. Police will also press charges against another person believed to be offering advice to all five people on the vessel on how they should talk to investigators. In an indication of just how much money you can make working from home, a transgender woman caught producing and selling sex videos online said she earned about 100,000 baht a month. Police learned that a Twitter user by the name Dreamy VIP Group 590 baht posted pornographic videos online to more than 120,000 followers. Subscribers pay a fee of 234 baht for access to her videos on the OnlyFans website. Prior to the arrest, she had 430 subscribers. Join us for more top stories next week on the Bangkok Post. <laughs>